sorry. I promise, guys, this is not going to be like an everyday thing, me doing like this whole vlog stuff, because I know a lot of you guys don't really enjoy like the vlog types, but I know like a lot of you guys out there do. Basically, what I'm thinking is that whenever I do like a vlog type, it's either going to be for like a celebration or I need to talk to you guys about someone. Like today, I need to talk to you guys about something, trying to help you guys, I'm trying to help my channel. I just want to like entertain you guys in total. So guys, yesterday was some kind of arguing in the comment section um, to the guy I was arguing with. I'm sorry, I was like arguing. It was just like really late and I was kind of ticked off. That's why I don't really ever comment whenever I'm like pissed. Things like this kind of just like set me off. So basically, the guy said that my videos suck and he likes how I used to be. But the thing is, is like person who I used to be was a really bad YouTuber. Um, basically, he was just saying that I need to spend more time on my videos and everything, in which I do. I spend hours on my videos every single day. Old Hailstrom games, I guess you can say. He would spend like 20 minutes or less on a video, like he would just get on Xbox, not even warm up or anything, play one, two games while doing a commentary over it, quickly edit it, have some errors and everything, have some audio errors, then just upload it. But now a days, what I do is that like for like my gaming videos, my cut comms, or whatever, I will play Xbox for like an hour or two until I get like a good gameplay, and then I'll just like go into theater mode, record that. And then have that playing in the background while I talk over it. It's just like no no cuts or anything in the gameplay, just in like my face cam. Because I know there's a lot of guys out there that enjoy just straight gameplay. So by doing this, I just go out for that kind of community first. And then with like the, the face cam over it and everything, I try to go out to like my other people. Who just like want to hear stories and everything, don't really care much about gameplay. Then I'm going after two types of people right now, okay? And then I have like my challenges and my vlogs and everything. There's a bunch of people out there that like challenges, so that's going out to different types of people. And then vlogs, which are going out to even more types of people. By me doing this, I'm just ba I'm basically just like gathering more and more people through what I like to do on YouTube. By that, they're all, they're subscribing. I'm getting more subscribers that way. I know I can't satisfy all of you all at once. That's why I try to like spread it out some. I do like a gaming video here, a vlog here, a challenge here, so I can go out to all types of people. But the problem is, is that I don't really understand what you guys mean by the, like the old Hailstorm games um, when I never spent time on my videos. Like the ping pong challenge, um, I spent, let me think, we recorded that video, it took about an hour and a half, two hours to record, and then I edited that within seven hours. That was probably like one of my favorite videos, I will say that. But I still don't really understand what you guys mean by the old hailstorm, because the old hailstorm sucked. Like, I sucked. I was horrible, I was like the worst YouTuber ever, I have no idea how I was able to like, gang as many subscribers as I do now. I'm happy that I'm making at least most of you guys happy, but the thing is like, I want to make all of you happy. That's just like my basic goal on the internet is to like entertain you guys, make you laugh, make you just overall happy and have like a great rest of your day. And if you guys ever want to see a certain type of video, that's why at every single one of my, at the end of my videos, I always say leave a comment below saying what I should do next or if you want to see another challenge like the one that I did in the video or if you guys want to see more gameplay. But the thing is guys, I never get anything. No response or anything. The only responses I ever get are to 1v1 me. I like to 1v1 you guys. I used to be like a 1v1 champ, but like I'm not anymore. And it's not saying like if I upload it, I'll get beat. I've been beaten on my channel before. But the thing is like, I don't just want to do 1v1s. I just kind of like brainstorm and come up with more video ideas. But when I do that, then I get called out for copying phase and other types of people. Actually, never mind. I only get called out for copying phase. But that's because FaZe is like the biggest fan base on YouTube right now. And it is so hard not to like do anything that they haven't done before. Because there's like, what, six or seven of them in the FaZe house. And they they can work together. And they have a bunch of ideas like that. But the thing is like, they're not like the originals of every single thing that they post on their channel either. A lot, a lot of like videos that have been created as like challengers or something like that. Have actually been created from vlog channels and other types of real life channels and now like the gamers are getting into it because they realize like it, that's what's gaining the most subscribers and the most biggest fan base. It's like really hard for me to do something original. I really want to start getting into doing skits like Andrew Bowser and Nigihiga. Like I used to do skits when I was little but like they never got any views because I had like 40 subs back then. You actually can still find them it's just I'm not saying that they're gonna be good because I was like nine. It's just overall hard to think of something good. It really kind of just like puts you down when like you spend a lot of time on a video and then people say oh you didn't you didn't try hard enough on this video or oh this video sucked 
or oh just like go kill yourself get cancer whatever it's just hard to just take all in at once i guess which i'm able to do it you know it's no problem for me i get hate every single day and i just like came to my senses and I don't really care but the thing is like the people who are hating I want to reach out to them and like hear what they want to see if if they're just on the internet to troll they're on, in on the internet to troll they don't want to see any specific comment because they just suck in life to the people that just like hate on the videos and are just like who are trying to give me obstructive criticism the thing about obstructive criticism is that it's not just straight hate the thing how you, okay this is how you set up an obstructive criticism thing okay you start out watching a video you watch the video completely through okay and then if you didn't like the video you just said hey hailstorm i didn't really enjoy the video here are some things to improve on and here are some other suggestions it's not just straight hailstorm this video is straight crap i hated it you suck and then that's the end of it no if you're going to give a structure of criticism, you need to give the idea part to it, too. You can't just be hating. You have to give an idea, you have to participate in some way, and should just saying that I suck. And I know some of you guys are out there just saying that to, like, mess with me and everything like that, but things like, I take YouTube very seriously. Um, I really want this to be, like, one of my main parts of life, even, like, when I'm 40 or 100. It doesn't matter. I really want this to be, like, one of my main parts of my life. I want this to be something that I am remembered by, not really as being bad at it, but being very good at it, and that I helped and entertained a bunch of people. Like, like if I were to die today, like today I'm on my way to my friend's bonfire in like a few minutes after I get this video rendered and uploaded and everything. I'm going up to my friend's bonfire. What if I die in a car crash on the way there? The way how people are going to remember me is, oh, he never really had great content on his channel. You know, no one really cared about what he had to say on his videos it, it just doesn't matter to us but the thing is i want that to be com the complete opposite so that's why i'm asking you guys right now if you want to see any specific video please let me know i read every single comment i try to reply as much as possible it's just like i am a very like emotional and depressed person in life i guess you can say there's a bunch of things behind the scenes that go on with my life that i don't really ever talk about although i try to be as open as i can with you guys there's just some things in the background that I never talk about. They affect me, you know, sometimes I'm just not able to act like who I am, but the thing is like, I'm able to look past that and instead of like not uploading, I'm able to like look past that and upload a video and kind of just like be an actor for you guys and act all happy so you guys can be happy. And it's just kind of cool that I'm able to like reply and just like read all your guys' comments when there's huge YouTubers out there who don't even look at the comments, who don't even take their subscribers into suggestion when they make videos. But that's all I do. I make a huge list for my videos, and then I read your guys' comments, I add those to the list, and then they get done. I promise, they get done, okay? Every single video that really has been made, that hasn't really been much about me, unless they're like a story. Some people like just want to hear a story, so they'll be like, okay, what's like the worst thing that's ever happened to you? And then that's why I made the Mac and Cheeto thing, and it was kind of funny. My mom actually thought it was funny, and that's really surprising because my mom doesn't really support what I do, but... It's great that she thinks that it was funny. If you guys want to see a specific video from here on out, just list it in the comments below. I don't know if I ever told you guys that I'd take all your comments into consideration. But yeah, just let me know in the comments. Um, you know, I will definitely be able to do all of them. I don't ever want to make you guys um, angry or mad or sad at me. So that's what I least want to do on YouTube. So guys, um, make sure to drop a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you have not already. Stay positive, stay happy. Stay nice, do everything you can to make life to the fullest, okay? So, guys, I want you to always remember, a saw dude, peace saw dude, and I'm out, peace.